So in this video, you'll learn how to switch between navigation gestures and buttons on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So if you currently don't like how you're navigating through your phone, whether you're using bus buttons or gestures, and you want to switch, this is how to do so. You want to start by opening the settings app, and then under settings, you want to scroll and select display. From here, you want to look for the option navigation bar right here and tap on it. Then from here, you should see buttons and swipe gestures. So currently mine is set to buttons, which is why I have these three buttons available for me. I have multi view, I have home, and I have back. So these are the three buttons that I use to navigate on my phone. If you want to switch to the other option, so for example, swipe gestures, just tap on it like that. Now you should see a navigation, a swipe gesture bar at the bottom, meaning you've successfully switched between navigation types. So now, if I want to go back to the home screen, I just swipe up and it'll go back to the home screen. If I want to open multi-view window, I swipe up to the middle of the screen to view all the apps running in the background. If I want to go back, I'll just swipe like that or swipe like that or swipe either on the right side or on the left side and it will take me back to where I was previously. So this is how you can use the swipe gestures on your Galaxy S25. Again, if you want to switch back to buttons, just select the buttons option. Then from here, you'll notice that each navigation has this more options listed underneath. So when you tap on it, if you're under buttons, you should see the option to change the buttons order. So this is how it's currently set with multi view, home and back. You can choose to invert it so that it's back, home and then multi view. Alternatively, if you're using the swipe gestures, when you tap on more options, you can choose to block gestures with S Pen. So you can choose to enable or disable that. And then you can increase or decrease the gesture sensitivity by using this slider. So you can set it to high, medium, or low. It's completely up to you to decide how you want to customize it. Then when you're happy, you can just exit the settings app, knowing you've successfully customized your navigation gestures or buttons on your Galaxy S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.